Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread? Or a snake when he asks for a fish? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who asked Him? Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Jesus is teaching us some fundamental principles behind the practice of prayer. We always say, Mga muyo ako, mahatag ako sang ukon nga pangamuyuan ko ikaw. But what is prayer? Ano ang pangamuyo? Ano ang mga elemento sang pangamuyo? Sa nahauna natun nga balasahon, Queen Esther is set bef before us as a model of how to pray with humility and confidence. Determinado git bala kita. Kung magpangamuyo ka, May ara bala determinasyon, may ala, may ara bala ang pagpaubos. Is it not dictating God? Yes, we have desires. May mga kagustuhan kita, may mga ara sa sulod sang aton kaugalingon. Nga magasiling kita. Ti nahibalan sang Dios ang tanan. He knows all our needs. This week only, we are given also the model of all prayers, which is the Our Father. But before we pray the Our Father in during the Mass, the priest will say, as Jesus has taught us, we dare nga ang amusina ang mga tinaga kun i-translate natun sa aton nga nga lingwahe when we say we there mga has kita pangahasan natun why god already knew what we need god already knew nahibal aniya kun ano ang aton kinahanglanon sa aton kabuhi would he give things which we which is endangering us? No. Hindi gusto sang amay ina, hindi gusto sang Dios ina. Pero sa sulod sang aton nga mga kaugalingon, we are not in tune with his will. Ti amo ina nga nagasiling we there. Mga hasgit kita. Bisan nga daw hindi kinahanglanon. Bisan nga hindi imp daw hindi importante. Nagapanga hasgit kita. Jesus gives us a very strong encouragement to pray. He uses a kind of key words here. Ask and receive. Seek and find. Knock and the door will be opened. There are there is a remarkable confidence 
in the Lord's understanding of prayer and its effect. Ano bala, mga muyo kita, ano ang effecto sina? Would this work? Would our prayer be working? A superficial reading of these lines may distort what he really means. And that's why I'm saying, Husto bala ang aton pagpangamuyo? O kun ba si ginadiktahan natun ang Diyos? Ti amu ina ang ginatawag natun nga distortion. Nga instead, we recognize God as the one who is all-powerful. We are the ones who is dictating God instead. He is not saying that we have the absolute power over God and that some magical formula is guaranteed to produce the effects we desire. Some people would be saying, instead, sang ilang alingwahi, they will be praying in Latin. Kay nga, ah, according to them, there is a magical kind of spirit that goes with, with Latin prayers. Pariho man lang ina sa imulengguahe man mismo. And what is the hint is that humility and confidence. He is saying that we should pray with what the Catechism of the Catholic Church calls a filial boldness, a great confidence of how a child know his father so he, with confidence and with the goodness of the father, nahibal aniya, nahibal ansang bata, ang iya nga tatay. So kun anuman ang pangayuon niya, nahibal aniya nga ihatag sang tatay. Pero he has ang bata may may narecognizar niya ang kadako sang tatay. And so he has a great respect on the father. A central aspect to the mystery of prayer as Jesus presents is the relationship, ang kaangtanan, ang connection natun sa atun tatay. As God, as Jesus said, call God our Father, Abba. When we ask the Lord for things, the basis of all our asking is our relationship with Him. The relationship of a child with the loving Father. Our natural family relationship then teaches, teaches us how we should pray. Most fathers love their children and will do anything they can for their good. And that's why Jesus is saying that if then who you who are wicked know how to give good things to children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask Him? Hindi pag ihatag sang atun amay kay maayos siya hindi lang kagamhanan kundi maayos siya nga Diyos. Kay nahi, nakita niya kung ano ang padulungan sang sinaktanan. So kung hindi magak, magak, pakamaayos sa aton, He will not give it. However, no human father is, has an example of a perfect love. May kakulangan gid per me. Many people have have hurt, neglect, or reject, or rejected by their father. Kaya nga ah, hindi perfecto ang aton mga tatay. Amo man ang mga nanay, amo ang mga ginikanan, ang mga tao sa palibot natin, hindi sila perfecto. And so, they cannot make a kind of 
perfect model for us. This can make it hard for them sa among mga tao nga naka-experience sa imperfectness kag na base lang ang ilang mga mga panungduman kag ang ilang memory sa sina nga mga imperfectness but not the goodness ti ang gwa niya nga it will be hard for them to trust God and to look at God as the Father. When we cling to harmful or imperfect images of God, we are obscuring the truth about Him, about God who is love Himself. Jesus reveals the fullness of truth about the Father that is, that His love is perfect, sacrificial, and unconditional. If we look at Jesus on the cross, that is a kind of unconditional love. Jesus is explicit in comparing human fathers to God the Father. If you then who are wicked know how to give good things to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask Him? Kaya nga, ah, perfecto siya. Mas labaw siya sang sa aton mga tatay. We are not sheep without a shepherd, nor we, have or, we are orphans without a father. This is why we can so be confident in asking, seeking, and knocking in our prayers. In our prayer, we do much more than Ask God, our Father, for the things we want. Kay ang elemento sa aton pangamuyo, hindi na pangamuyo, kundi pangayo, nga pangayo, nga pangayo, never ending nga pangayo. We come to Him with whatever hope, dreams, and burdens we hold in our hearts. Mostly we say, we, we might be saying it's about surrendering. We know the jumble of thoughts, feelings, and memories that we, can, we are carrying to ourselves. As we share all that is in our hearts with our Father, that is already prayer. So, surrender natun, ginap gina istorya naton sa aton amay ang aton sitwasyon amo ini ang akon eksperyensya so it is much more of establishing establishing relationship god knows and god sees all of that pero sa aton amo ang pag istorya sa iya and it is a sign of humility humble before him that we are Transparent, we become transparent to ourselves, and there is nothing that we should be afraid of. Kaya nga ah, kita nila niya ang tanan. Masiling natin, hindi hindi ko na pag ihambal kaya nga ah, nahuya ako sa akon mismo nga kaugalingon, and that is the very fact of why we are afraid and why we should not go into the darkest portion of our life. This is what we are made for. Amo ini kita. To be intimate and Jesus is encouraging us to be, to have a kind of intimate relationship with the Father. Ang nahauna nga balasahon natun subong is has a different kind of taste according regarding prayer. Queen Esther, a slave queen married to the king of Persia. She is saying, seized with mortal anguish because she approached the king of Persia. 
to ask for mercy for her people, yet, sa iya pag-approach, sa iya, nga wala sing pahanubot halin sa, sa hari, is punishable by death. Without a friend, without an ally, Esther experienced her total def- dependence on God alone. Ginahatag niya ang iya kaugalingon sa Diyos. I am alone I have, and I have no one but you, O Lord, my God. Her humanly desperate situation does not lead to despair but to strong faith. She appeals to an ever greater king, the Lord, the king, king of gods and rulers of every power. Her prayer is full of both humility and a great hope. Humility because she can do nothing of her own. It's out of her own kind of capacity as a human being, as a queen. Hope because she trusts and only on only God who can do everything for her. For her. As if like if we recall a woman, a Seraphonician woman, a pagan at that, come to Jesus and asking to heal for her daughter. Ano ang siling, ang, ang siling ni Jesus? It is good for the dogs, it is not good for the dogs to eat the children's food. Pero ano ang sabat sang, sang babay? Dogs can even eat the scraps that fell from the children's table. Ti matsiling naton dako ang iyang nga paghigugma, dako ang iyang nga pagtuo nga si Jesus kag si Jesus lamang ang makaayo sa iyang nga bata. These readings are meant to move us more fervent and confident in prayer today. It is God Himself, our Father, who wanted us to pray to Him, to lift our hearts to Him, to humbly present to Him our every need. And turning to Him, we pray, Here I am, Lord, help me. There is no one who can help else. Anyone else would not help who, who cannot help me, who really know me and loves me as you do. I trust you, Lord.